This video presentation will provide a detailed overview of the operation of CAL loudspeakers and the use of Compass control software for configuration and adjusting parameters in CAL loudspeakers. CAL loudspeakers have analog, AES, and AVB audio inputs on the rear user panel of the loudspeaker. The switch closures allow for muting and override. There is also preset recall, a fault contact, and a 5 volt DC power source. Each driver has its own signal processing and amplifier channel to allow for direction control. The CAL beam steering, equalization, level, and delay parameters are adjusted by running Meyer Sound's Compass Control software on a computer connected to one or many CAL loudspeakers over a standard Ethernet network. Compass Control software is available for both Macs and PCs and can be downloaded from MeyerSound.com. Please remember that before installing Compass Control software, there is additional software that needs to be installed for controlling CAL loudspeakers. Be sure to read the release notes and the Read This First documents on the Compass software pages on the Meyer Sound website where the specific instructions can be found. The Compass user preferences can be modified from the Compass Preferences tab. The screen resolution, control type, and color mode are modified for this session. Selecting the Cal Inventory tab displays the auto-populated list of available Cal loudspeakers. Clicking the label of a column will sort the column. Columns can also be moved. Each loudspeaker can be given its own unique name and comments. Selecting a Cal and clicking on Control opens the Control tab with the desired Cal selected. Scrolling in the device pane may be helpful. Dragging the pane separator will show more of the device pane and reveal the Enable Multi-Select button. Label the audio inputs. To make the label blank, press the space bar once and press Enter. Select the primary audio input. An input can also be selected as an override to the primary audio input when triggered from the override switch closure on the user panel of the loudspeaker. This switch closure is often connected to the life safety system of a facility. Each Cal loudspeaker has four preset storage locations. The settings are stored in memory locations in the loudspeaker. Each preset includes the values for the input settings, beam control, and processing values. In this example, the settings have been modified in Compass, which turns on the active preset modified warning. To send the settings to the loudspeaker memory, click the Store Active Preset Settings button. The settings for preset slot 1 have been updated on the CAL loudspeaker. When the CAL loudspeaker is power cycled, the last recalled preset will be active on power up. The memory slots remain unchanged during power cycling of the loudspeaker. Changes to the settings that were not stored to the active preset will be lost. Remember to update the preset using the Store Active Preset Settings button as changes are being made. Under the Beam Control tab, we can move the loudspeaker and drag dimensional references by holding down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC while clicking and dragging. The references can be cleared by clicking in an empty area of the window. Measurement units and the grid lines can be toggled under the Compass Cal Preferences tab. The scroll wheel of the mouse will zoom in and out of this view. The angle and spread can be adjusted using the numeric inputs or with the graphic interface. When the desired angle and spread are set, click the Apply to Active Preset Slot button. This will retrieve the settings from the CAL Pattern files and apply them to the selected preset location in the CAL loudspeaker. The CAL Pattern files were moved into a directory folder named CAL during the Compass installation process. Instructions are in the Read This First document on the website. The CAL 64 can be used as a single or split beam.
Again, click the Apply to Active Preset Slot button for changes to be applied to the selected preset in the Cal loudspeaker. Clicking Revert will return the settings to the stored values of the selected preset. Clicking in the Beam View window will remove the reference lines. The Cal 96 can also be used as a single or split beam. The split beam is selectable in two different options. Click Apply to Active Preset Slot button to send the settings to the selected preset in the Cal loudspeaker. Depending on your choice of single or dual beam, a single or dual set controls will be available in the Processing tab. Each section has muting and level adjustment. The parametric equalization filters can be adjusted by dragging the controls in the response window or with the controls below. The maximum delay time is 500 milliseconds. Master control allows for muting and level control of the selected cal. The polarity control needs to be enabled in the preferences in order to be operational. Remember, these settings have not been applied to this preset in the CAL yet. Click on Store Active Preset Settings to do so. Clicking on a preset button, or the Recall arrow next to it, will change the input settings, beam control, and processing values of the loudspeaker to the preset's stored values for those controls. Every time a change is made to any of these parameters, click Store Active Preset Settings in order to update the settings of the presets stored in the CAL. Right-click on a preset to rename it. The four presets stored in the loudspeaker can be recalled either from Compass or by applying different combinations of control voltage to the pins labeled A1 and A2 on the user panel of the loudspeaker. Presets are managed from the Preset Library tab. There are six non-editable factory presets. Click Create New and name the preset for the active slot. It is a good working practice to note the beam angle information for each preset in the comments section. Individual presets can be stored as Cal preset files. For archival purposes, at least one preset should be added to the library for each of the CALs in a system. Right-click the preset name to change it. Click Create New Preset in the Library. The name and comments will be auto-filled. The name of these presets are the same, but they are for different models of CALs. All of the presets can be saved as a library. Libraries can be opened. Individual presets can be opened. Selecting a preset and clicking Recall to Active Preset Slot will change the settings of the CAL to those of the recalled preset. There will be a notification that the beam angle information will not be sent to the CAL. The beam control settings are applied manually. Also, notice that the Active Preset Modified notification is now lit because the settings of the CAL were changed. The loudspeaker is now in the new state and the name of the preset slot has changed, but the settings have not been written to the CAL until the Store Active Preset Settings button is clicked, which writes the settings to the preset slot in the CAL's non-volatile memory. A project contains all of the information for each loudspeaker on the CAL Inventory tab. When saving, you will be prompted to optionally store the preset library. 
If selected, the save.cal project file will include all of the information regarding the cal inventory and the preset library. Multi-select allows for multiple cals to be selected and controlled. Holding down the shift key and clicking allows a multi-selection. If dissimilar models are selected, the number of controls will be limited to only those that are common between all of the selected models. If like models are selected, more parameters are available. More information is available in the operating instructions for the Cal loudspeakers, which are available at the MeyerSound.com website.